From the Target 12 investigators, a judge orders a former state rep's company to open a road that's the focus of a lawsuit. But access is still blocked, and the landscaper who filed the lawsuit is frustrated and speaking out. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has the details you'll see only on Eyewitness News. The judge's order in this case has so far not been followed, so a victory on paper has not helped the local business owner who claims he's lost tens of thousands of dollars in this three-year-old dispute. Noon's Lane remains impassable, blocked by Jersey barriers, vehicles, and piles of stone, sand, and soil in the distance. In my building when John totally Reed bought the land from the company owned by former state representative Jared Noon's family, Reed claims he was told he'd have access to the property from Noon's Lane. He would not have access. When the lawsuit was filed, to Noon's to told us access to the road was never part of the deal. In his order on Monday, Judge Richard Leach ruled in favor of Reed, granting his company right-of-way easement over Noon's Lane. Five days since the ruling... I'm still not able to get on my land because Mr. Noon's decided that he will not move the barriers even though it's been declared a right-of-way. Reed's attorney tells us she is filing an injunction next week to potentially force the removal of the blockade. The 2017 lawsuit alleges four end properties illegally altered the deed, removing Noons Lane as a right of way around the time of the 2016 land deal. To try and Jared Noons denied anything was altered. Reed claims politics were involved with the town's decision not to force 4N to open Noons Lane for his landscaping company. It's going to have to end. I mean, right is right, wrong is wrong. No response so far for a request for comment from Jared Noons, his attorney, or the town solicitor, Tim Williamson. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.